Hey guys, Merry Christmas to all of you and welcome back to Shiny Script. In this Christmas week, we create Santa Claus with homemade clay. Here I use 12 inch round MDF board. At first I draw it with a HB pencil and then sculpture it with clay. I put the video link on i button and in description also. Please check it out. Knead the clay before use to make it softer. Here I take a ball of clay and press it over the drawing. Then I flip it and the mark of the pencil are copied on it. So I cut it with the help of clay modeling tools. After cutting, flip it and make it smooth. With a flat tool, gently press forwarding. After that, place it correctly and cut the extras. And then shape it once again. Mark all the finish line with the clay modeling tool. And here I draw the finish line of hat and roll it out in a thin rope like long structure. Place it over the hat and measure and cut. Make a small ball of clay and it's the tip of the Santa's hat. Now took a small amount of clay and transfer it into a long cylindrical structure. We are gonna make Santa's hand with that. Place it, press it little and cut it. For joint the two edges, just scratch it together and then smooth it together. For the hand gloves, make the front side round and then just cut. And continue the process to make the other hand. Now take a ball of clay and give it a shape as the front of the cut. It's look like a bird's beak. Cut the extras. For joint the edges, scratch it together and smooth the areas. Or do this part as the process you follow to make the cut. Apply glue, here I use favicol and paste it. Let's do the deer. Take a ball of clay, press it over the deer and flip it and cut it as the shapes. Now flip it over and smooth the areas. We can make it into two different process. Firstly, take a long thin rope like portion, place it and cut it as the shapes. And in the second process, take a clay, press it over the draw, take the impression on the clay and cut it. For the horns, make a long medium width structure of clay. The front part of the horn is comparably thin than the below part of the horn. Make some tiny horns and attach it using the same process with the big horn. Apply glue and paste it. Now 
scratch the horn with a needle to give it a realistic look. For the rope, I use thin rope twine. I left it to dry for one day. After one day, let's color it. I am using acrylic color here. Firstly, I use titanium white as the base of the clay sculpture and to color the moon. Make sure to evenly spread the color in every corner. Here I use Prussian blue, Pathalo blue and titanium white and mix it use as the light sky color near the moon. And then mix Prussian blue and Pathalo blue and color all over the MDF board. After completing the color, I am using titanium white to lightening the area near the moon and then use a little amount of titanium white to the next area. To mixing the two different portions, I am using a dry brush here and continue the mixing process to outwards in a circular motion. Let's color the clay sculpture. Here I use the ivory black color to paint it. Color every corner of it to give it a neat and clean look. And draw the strands of the sledge cart. Color the rope as well. After completing the black color, let's move to the moon. For the realistic look of moon, here I use the sponge to color it. And here I use the gray color. Took the color on sponge and just tap it. For the blemish effect, use white color on a dry brush and just blend it. And let's move to the down of the MDF board to draw the scenery. To draw the horizon, I am using the titanium white color here and then for the frontal part, I am using the mixture of Prussian blue and titanium white. The behind part of this horizon are comparatively dark than the frontal part. Now using the finest brush, I am going to draw the trees, the houses and the light post. Here I use titanium white to draw all the things because it's a snowy night. I'm going to draw all the doors, lights and the windows using lemon yellow color to show the lights inside the houses and the light post. For highlight, I am using the titanium white color near the deer and draw the dots to show the snow. After drying, apply a coat of varnish and our today's work is completely ready. Bye bye for today, see you in the next week.